In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the next button on every single slide or screen in Articulate Storyline 360. So here we have it. This is a screen. This is first screen, second, almost the same. Anyway, you get the idea. These are all the screens. And if I was to preview this, let's preview the entire project. I'll show you that there's a next button on there, but maybe I don't want the next button. Maybe I want to completely gone because I'm going to create my own manual next buttons. So we've got the next buttons down here. So next, previous, there we go. So if I click on that, take me to the next slide. There we go. But you don't want that, which is why you're watching this video. So the way to get around it is to go to store view. And then if you click on one of these to single click down the bottom, you've got the buttons previous next you've also got swiping so remember for swiping that's for your mobile devices so a mobile phone or a tablet and you want to remove them just untick them there we go and you'll notice that when I'm unticking them that all of these bits here you know, the triggers are disappearing as well there we go but it's only done it for one slide okay so let me just show you I'll remove them I'll go to the first slide, I'll preview this slide, and down bottom right, we have no next or previous button anymore. So it has worked, but it's only done it for one slide. So the way to do it for all of them is to single click. So just make sure you single click on one of those. Control A selects all of them, then remove these from them, and then all of the slides will not have a previous or next on them. And just to prove it to you, I'll pick a random slide. So we've not seen this slide before. I'll preview this slide. And you can see down the bottom, we've got no previous or next. And I can assure you that we won't have swiping if we were to do the mobile view either. But you might be looking at this story view and thinking, why does it look like that? That's a big mess. Well, the reason is I've not created any next buttons. So if you are going to do this, you need to make sure that you actually have previous and next buttons built in. Now, I'll show you very quickly how to create one. I've just gone to insert, I'll go to button, but you could do it as a shape. So I'll choose as a button. I'll show you how to just create a next button. I'll type in, so I'll click in there, I'll type in next. Okay, we've got a button. And then I'll create a trigger. So I've clicked on the button, so single click on the button. Trigger, to create a new trigger. To jump to next slide when the user button or user clicks that button. I'll click OK. Go to the story view. And we'll see that this one here is going from that slide to that slide there. So let's just quickly do that on some other ones. So if you want to do these, you just Control C. I've got the button. Control V because it's the same principle. Control V on that one. You can see on the left hand side, it starts to now build this, you know, these kind of. Uh, branching going down here. Control V on that one. You get the idea. I've done this very quickly. I'd make my next button, my previous button look a lot nicer. If I was to create a, a previous button, I'll show you how to do that as well. Whilst I've got your attention, let's create a previous button. So exactly the same principle. I'm going a bit quick, but anyway, insert button, click on the button. There we have it. Quite previous. There we go. Click on it, trigger, create a new trigger, jump to slide, previous slide. When the user clicks on button two, let's tidy up a little bit, at least a little bit. There you go. Looks more like it. And what I'll do, I'll control C on that one and I'll apply it to these slides as well. I'm doing this very quickly, just to, like I say, I would put more effort into this. I was actually doing this for a client. There you go. Done that, I've got too many on there. Anyway, let's just show it to you though. So I'm going to preview the selected slides. And there we have it. Clicking next will take me to the next screen. Next, next. But notice down the bottom that the previous and next button are not here because I did remove them. So next, next, previous, 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 next. You get the idea, it works. So once again though, store view, click on one side, so a single click, 
Control A selects all of them and make sure you're removing the previous next button and also the previous and next swipe if you're doing this for mobile devices. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give the video a like, subscribe to my channel for more Articulate Storyline videos, but also Articulate Rise, Camtasia, and uh, anything tech related, really. Anyway, give it a subscribe. Thank you very much.